use mathematics every day for all sorts of different re reasons. And that is really what numeracy is. And that could mean determining whether or not a mortgage rate is appropriate for your pocket. It could mean determining the distance or estimating the distance from here to home and how much gas you need to get home if all you have is $2 in your pocket. When starting a new job, you'll be expected to have the numeracy skills required for your particular work role. Numeracy is the ability to use numbers and think mathematically, to measure, estimate, make simple calculations and work with money. The type of numeracy skills you'll need to do your job well depends on your occupation and the purpose of each task. For example, if you're a firefighter or emergency services worker, you might be required to have excellent numeracy skills to navigate your team to a fire or incident. You may need to calculate distances, speed and time and work out changes in environmental conditions. If you work in a customer service role, you may need to monitor stock levels and place purchase orders or handle money and payments. Numeracy is present and important for the successful study in all of our subjects. Today we will look at ways we are already addressing numeracy in four areas consistent from K to 10 of dance, drama, music and visual arts and conclude with teaching and learning experiences that excite us in each of those areas. Numerical concepts are exemplified in dance through spatial awareness, elements of movement, dance and construction, counting beats within varied meters, exploring tempo, rhythmic and choreographical patterns, sequences and structures like expanding, condensing, retrograde, inversions, repetition, routines and movement diagrams, practical aspects like production budgeting and choreographical mapping with dance artwork analysis. Here are six activities you can use in a stage four or five classroom. One, get students to form shapes and numbers. Develop this into dance practical performances that require problem solving through multiplication, subtraction and addition. Two, use multiplicative thinking to choreograph and perform large scale dance performances. Three, Analyze the elements of struction by investigating the probability and statistics of movement and repetition. Drama and numeracy complement each other so frequently and so cleverly that students are often unaware that they are performing mathematical thinking while completing drama. We explore numeracy when looking at space and shape awareness, direction, the elements of drama, sequencing and structure, size planes, movement pathways, probability, proxemics, budgeting, the elements of production, set design, given circumstances of characters, and dramatic forms. Some stage four and five learning activities for drama could be, one, physical warm-ups and cool-downs requiring movements specifically related to numbered groups and money. Two, explore the different theater stages such as proscenium arch, a thrust, and look at how various performances could be performed with the pros and cons for the sets, the acoustics, the space, and block and work scenes within these spaces. Three, create timelines for characters or passages of time to explore the recording, measuring and passage of duration within a play. Four, estimate data and add and create diagrams exploring the probability of characters' storylines and given circumstances. Five, data analysis and management of production budgets, estimates and proportional reasoning for elements of the production. And six, Improvisation games that allow students to experiment with time allocations, estimate and adjust performances without preparation time and to time restrictions. Music and numeracy are very closely related. When studying music in stages four and five, we look at speech, chants and songs, counting beats, rhythm patterns, musical concepts, duration such as beat, rhythm, meter, tempo, dynamics, structure, symbol, graphic notation, groupings, accents, meters, traditional notation, patterns and sequences, pitch, harmony, tonality, motifs, time, patterns, improvisation, musical history, performance, oral and ICT. Six tasks or activities you could use in your stage four or five music classroom. One, simple equations through graphic music and notation. Two, create graphical representations of the line of pitch. Three, 
Justify and explore the duration and time between different units of notation. Four, explore the difference in measurement between large scale and small scale size instruments and their tone pitch or tone color. Five, listening, responding, and arranging pieces using addition and subtraction of various instruments. And six, statistical investigations for audience purpose, music, and sound levels in performance. And last but not least, numerical concepts are exemplified in the visual arts when looking at artistic forms, modeling, illustrating, symbols, textures, lines, graphs, patterns, and numbers. Artistic techniques to investigate and create such as shapes, perspectives, volume, mass, dimension, solids, voids, 2D, 3D, fractions, decimals, patterns, percentages, symbol, money, ratios, angles, proportional reasoning, Pythagoras theorem, areas of a shape, color, estimate, and materials. Six tasks or activities you could use in your visual arts classroom could be one, Predict higher terms of patterns by increasing picture sizes by 2, 4, 20, etc. 2. Estimate on how much colour is required for what combination, then solve through applying the mathematical technique. 3. Justify proportional reasoning problems when solving problems for questions for topics like the amount of paint required for particular rooms. 4. Explore historical artworks and art preservation by investigating environmental considerations such as temperature and the impact this has on materials, the colour and the canvases. 5. Study and create perspectives and angles through contemporary and historical artworks. 6. Solve real-world issues by running a week of lessons where students are responsible for ordering and managing their own art materials.